<laughs> Today, we're about to talk about the trends that need to be buried in 2017. We gotta let them go. Let them go. Hello lovely people, I hope you are doing well. Today we are about to get into it. We're gonna go into the trends that need to be dead and buried. In 2017, the things I'm just like, you know what, let it go, leave it there. And I'm a huge fan of Jackie, I, you know, I love her videos that she does. I think she does it like every year. And then there's a few other videos I've seen of the trends that people want to leave in 2017. And I had to jump on the bandwagon because I have my own things that I gotta say, okay? And I'm a bit concerned because I know that we're living in a society where everybody is triggered. So if you are a triggered person, I mean, this video might not be for you. If you want to send this and you want to trigger this to all those that are around you that are triggered, feel free to do that. That's fine. And I'm laughing because half of it makes me laugh in general. And I put my hands up and I can tell you right now, I've done 90% of the things that are about to be in this video. I am no saint and I am no like, you know, perfect person and I, I'm not the ruler of anything. I'm just going to say the things that I'm like, you know what, me done with it. I don't want to see that anymore. I'm over it. Okay. So boy, um, subscribe if you're not already subscribe subscribe before you're triggered for those of you who aren't triggered you're gonna be like yes girl stay to the end and add your own two pence in the comments i want to hear what you're thinking and then also if you're not following me on my social you can follow me on my instagram where hopefully i'm not doing any of these things on my snapchat and on my twitter as well hold on to your seats okay okay let's go number one crouching tiger hidden dragon this pose has been a pose in our lives for the last couple of years and I'm over it. The reason being is that this is not reality. This pose is far from reality. I have attempted to do this pose, but yet I look like a baby trying to take a dump in the nappy. I look like I have dislocated a hip, I have broken bones, and I look a hot mess. I do not look good in this pose. And I see it, I'm like, you are selling dreams. I feel like there are other ways that you can show an outfit without having to get on your all fours. While you face plant into the ground, get up and attempt to look cool, it just, it, it just irks me because in reality, that pose is hard AF. No, I don't wanna be off the PR list. But I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna say it. I'm over Gucci. I'm just over excessive Gucci. I've seen Gucci everywhere and the big GG is just here for all eyes to see. And you know what, I'm not innocent. Here's my gorgeous, beautiful, fantastic Gucci Marmot bag, which I live for, I love. However, I'm in the position where I literally see about 18,000 of these bags. I see 14 million t-shirts, jumpers, and now we've got glittery headbands. And G Gucci belt, which I have as well. And it's just, I just think, you know what? We're done. When you start wearing the Gucci headband, the Gucci t-shirt, the Gucci bag, the Gucci belt, the Gucci flip-flop. Gucci gang, 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 Gucci gang. Rally go and buy ball mains. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. I don't know whether or not Gucci is paying your mortgage. Let it go. Nowadays we're in a world we have to show like the designer. Like right here, look at me, it's Gucci. It's Chanel. It's this, like we get it you spent some money on stuff like we've heard like we know <laughs> and you know i love designer as much as the next person but when it is a top to toe outfit i've got gucci fatigue okay so this next one is annoying and impractical and it is perspex shoes or should i just say clear plastic shoes inspired by and i believe it was like the first yeezy collection or maybe the second yeezy collection of shoes for women they make your feet sweat 
right? Your feet will be sweating, your toes slip and slide, and they're so uncomfortable. Like literally, clear plastic shoes are uncomfortable. Shoes are not made to be made of like this hard, shiny plastic. And what you end up seeing is people's toes just looking all depressed and all, you know. Let alone if they're tight and ill-fitting. Your toes look like claws. Let it go. I've had Perspex shoes, and when I wore them, I couldn't believe the level of pain I was in. Perspex shoes, you're off my list. Okay, this trend here, I say this, I'm gonna be honest, I'm a hater. And the trend I'm done with is under boobage. Under boobage because in reality, I've got fake boobies. If you guys don't know, my boobies are fake, okay? And even the way my fake boobies are set up, under boob is not working for me. You can see milk darts, you can see areola, you see too much. A lot of people make it look so chic and classy. I'll be honest, I've not even attempted it because I look at that under boob and I say, well, that's a trend that isn't for me. So I don't want to see any more under boobs because I can't do it. And I know a lot of women who are like, sorry, the way my breasts hang, it's a no. Okay, so coming back to an Instagram beauty trend, telling you this one irks my soul and it irks my soul because I'm a frugal girl. I like to save coin, I don't like to waste it. And when I see people doing the dripping makeup malarkey and I just think that's a that's a lot of product you know that is a lot of product you use eight drips for what takes one drip and I just think of the coin being washed down the drain or being rubbed into hands or even worse being wiped off by a tissue can we just stop doing that because it, it hurts product as expensive as Vasali and some of these other products are really good and they don't need to be wasted they need to be used with respect Okay, it's an Instagram trend that I've done. I've done it and I, I and it's a lie. You know what, what I don't want is people to lie on Instagram in 2018. Let's not lie. Especially when it is cold, people might be getting hypothermia, their kidneys are cold. Let's stop this now, let's stop the lies. And it is wearing the jacket off the shoulder. You know when you see that, hold on, let me just, let me just, let me just get it for you. It's three degrees centigrade, you have a bralette and a puffer jacket on, and you decided that your shoulder needs to be out. Selling dreams, selling lies. This stuff here is gonna give you hypothermia. Wear your coat properly, okay? Coats need to be on. It does look really cool, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but it's a lie. It's a lie. You're outside, you're shivering. I've done this. I've been shivering taking a photo. But yet yeah, you do it for the gram. This is this this has got to be left in 2017. Let, let's tell people the truth. When it's cold, wear your jacket. Put your hood on. Tell the truth. I love I love this app, right? But I feel like it got used to overkill in 2017. And it is the app called Kira Kira. It's the app that makes everything twinkle, 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 shining, 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 everything is glistening, right? Basically, it came into people's everyday Instagram and they just shone literally like a beaming light. And I even did an Instagram post, I'll drop it in. I did it, right? I had like this outfit that was beaded and whatever. And you know, I turned to the side and literally even my eye glittered, ching. The highlight from the middle of my eye was shining. It's too much. And the way you end up, you know, looking at an outfit on Instagram and you physically can't see the outfit because all you can see is these shines and you need glasses to watch the Instagram post, leave it. Leave it in 2017. You need to go, we're done with you. You know what we need to leave? Photoshop. I just, I just can't. I've seen some Photoshop that I'm like, you do not even need to do this. Why are you doing this? You do not need to Photoshop that image, that makeup. It looks fantastic, but you've made yourself look like a robot. And I've seen people transform like their normal, their normal shaped bodies into like something I've never seen before. And it's so fake and it's so much, you know, catfish. Photoshop in moderation, like, you know, artistic improvement, enhancement, not transformation. You don't need to be a whole new person on Photoshop. Alongside that is the hip breaking angles. We get it. We want to put our best foot forward. We want our body to look nice, but do not dislocate a hip in the process. If you break your back and you do all of this, yes, you get to look like Kylie Jenner, but you also look constipated. Be careful because you think you look cute, no, you look like you've got something stuck up your rear end. Woo! Oh God, I really hope you're not triggered. I really hope you're not triggered. 
you know what we need to leave? We need to leave dangerous clickbait. I don't want to see anything that involves flames, fire, blood, knives and scissors. All in the name of us seeing a makeup tutorial. You're doing the most. This was the year on Instagram of a lot of clickbait. And I, I have a problem with clickbait. Like, I get it. You want people to watch your content. But when it's dangerous, like, why is there a, a, a flame near your eyebrow? That doesn't look like fun. That doesn't look like joke. That looks like you ending up in the A&E. Please let us let it go. No more flames, no more knives, no more scissors. No, nothing dangerous, okay? I don't mind funny faces. I love it but nothing dangerous. This is a personal preference. This is just my thing. And I say this actually being a perpetrator, but it is a wearing obnoxious contacts. Some of these contacts, you literally look like a lizard. I'm scared, I'm triggered. I see you and I feel like I can see into your soul. <laughs> I'm not saying any particular tone or any particular person or any particular race. I just feel like everyone is wearing these literal ice white contacts. <laughs> I feel like I'm looking into the soul of a Dementor. I don't know what it is. I'm scared. I love contacts. I, I get the idea of, you know, changing the way you look, making your makeup pop a little bit more. And it's also a fashion look, but I find it scary. I think it's nice to wear for like Halloween or something, but find the contacts that are gonna suit you. Okay guys, I am done. I am done. I, I feel like I just let off a little steam. <laughs> And don't get it twisted, I am a perpetrator of 90% of the stuff on here, okay? I've done it, and I'm not even saying that I'm not gonna do it anymore. I'm not even gonna say that, right? But these are just some of the things that would be nice to like, you know, leave in the past. And the one thing I have said, I've noticed a lot on Instagram recently that I've been seeing a lot more beauty in, 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 in variety. And I feel like you can always find something that is to your taste, including style, fashion, makeup, everything you can find so if you are triggered and if you don't like something including myself there's something out there for everyone i do not want anyone to be um attacked i don't want anyone to feel like i was talking about them probably i'm definitely not i'm just talking about myself and things i've seen i bet there are some things that you want to like let off in the comments so feel free to do that but in the meantime i will catch you later maybe tomorrow thanks for watching guys bye oh oh you big, big head on the ring. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Spread their rats on new chain.